Hey everybody, it's Carl. Welcome to the bathroom. Back to work tomorrow, so that means it's time for a shave. Today, I'm not going to be focusing so much on the shave itself. I do want to do a quick product review. Um, been kicking around the idea of getting away from face lathering, so I've been looking at bowls and scuttles and the like, and I decided I was going to go with a classic type scuttle. Um, and so I was looking around eBay, and a lot of them are, you know, really kind of flowery and old and some are more expensive and then I ran across this guy. This is the Colonel Conk uh, Shave Scuttle. I picked it up uh, at Shave Nation. It was around $20, $20 dollars, $24, somewhere around there. Um, and it's a classic style scuttle. Uh, it's about the size of a coffee mug which is a little smaller than I expected. It's got the hole and the base plate for the uh, soap puck and so those of you who aren't familiar with how a scuttle works is fill it with hot water puck goes here brush goes in here let it soak get nice and wet and then you lather from here um, when I ordered it it came with a puck of Colonel Conk soap it was the lime flavor um, I've had a puck of that in the past not my favorite scent from Colonel Conk I like the soap itself I've piffed it off to somebody. So tonight I'm going to be using the uh, Colonel Conk Amber. This puck is used. And so here's my first impression of the Scuttle. Like I said, it's a little smaller than I expected it to be. Uh, typically the way these are designed, you should be able to fit a razor and a brush in there uh, while it's soaking. Uh, I can fit the brush in and I can fit a razor if I put it in first. It's pretty tight. The other thing I noticed is the razor has to be uh, pretty long handled. If I take say like my Merker 1904 and put it in there, it goes away. Um, and assuming that you fill this with water to the brim, that would probably be pretty much all the way underwater. Not a huge deal, but if it's hot water like it's supposed to be, it may be uncomfortable pulling it out. The other thing that I noticed is that the standard puck of soap, and keep in mind this one is smaller than uh, they are when they come new because I've used it before does not fit very well into the soap well um, in either in either way most pucks have a little bit of a contour to them at least these Colonel Conks do so it doesn't fit with the wide part or the narrow part and from what I could tell on from pictures of other scuttles is the soap compartment is a little bit deeper so that the puck actually sits in in the compartment so you can build a lather um, instead of on top of the scuttle in the scuttle. So anyway, let's get it filled with hot water. I'm going to hop in the shower, do all my pre-shave stuff, and I will be back uh, to lather it up and go from there. All right, y'all, so I'm done with the shower, and let's see if I can get the camera to take a peek at what's been going on. Man, you can't really see it, but I've had the scuttle sitting in the hot water in the sink and I've got it filled <clears throat> with the hot water as well um, and as I suspected the brush fit in there okay but the razor completely disappeared but it's nice and warm and as I said as you can see here the uh, the puck of soap doesn't sit very deep in the scuttle so let's get a lather this is still going to have to be a face lather um, but that's no big deal it's actually going to be nice because it's going to be a warm hopefully a little bit of a warm lather shave well and then there's that so let me see if i can't squeeze that down in there just a bit to keep it steady There we go. <clears throat> so we're building a little, little, little lather. Hope everybody's having a good weekend. I'm just going to kind of flap my app while I try and do this. Hope everybody's having a good weekend. Today is my Sunday, so I'm back to work tomorrow for a run of three shifts. Messy. Um, yeah. Now some of you uh, who follow along in some of the Facebook groups and whatnot will remember from my previous videos that I've been on a 
uh, buying freeze. Well, <clears throat> the freeze officially ended last month when I bought all the all the uh, head blade stuff. And since then, I've just kind of been on a tear. I ordered a scuttle. I ordered some cheap DE or low-cost DE razors. Because I, like many people, got into... Come back up here. Got into DE shaving to try and save money. Uh, little would I know that it would become a hobby slash addiction. Uh, buying and trying new stuff. But I still like to uh, see <coughs> the quality of... of uh, low-cost products to see if you know anybody out there is truly truly looking for a way to shave on the cheap how they can get a good shave with what products all right so i got a pretty decent lather going there just re -whip my face so there's something that i miss already is uh bloom water um being able to do that and we'll get going so so far um, the scuttle, while it looks nice, performance as a function of it has not been very impressive. Um, I think it's just a little small and the soap container is not deep enough. Now granted, this is my first scuttle. I am by far not an expert um, and by any means. So if you have any comments or suggestions feel free to let me know but as of right now um, I think it's going to become a nice either brush uh, soaking receptacle or just a, uh, a decoration on the shelf back there um, like I said, it it does what it's supposed to do. Does it do it well? Not in my opinion. Um, but then again, like I said, it's my first goal, so I may be completely wrong. <clears throat> All right, so on with the shave. Uh, Merker 1904, and I'm using a blade that I've never used before, the uh, Gillette 7 o'clock. Super, super stainless in the green package. These are the Russian made ones. I know you can also get some that are made in India. All right, so I'm just gonna show you guys the first pass because this is really just about the scuttle, which you've heard me say it. Um, little messy, little small. As you can see, there's soap everywhere. The puck didn't stay in, in place. Um, I think it's gonna be more of a decoration or a brush soaking uh, cup than an actual lather building device. Nice blade. Um, very smooth. I've got about four days growth, I think. And if you were curious, the brush I used to lather up is the old standard uh, wet shave club bore. It's just the one that I've been using so I just kind of grab it because it's always in the drying rack. And it works, right? So anyway. So yeah, what else is new? Uh, that's really about it, man. Getting ready to go back to work. Checking out some new products. Spending money like it's a uh, Going out of style. I ordered this scuttle from uh, <coughs> from Shave Nation. Great company. That was my first uh, purchase from them. From Geo. Good, uh, good service. Good products. Fast shipping. Nothing bad to say about that. I ordered a. Like I said, a handful of inexpensive DE razors to test out from uh, shoe, shoe box Shave Shop. Um, it's about the second or third order I've made from those guys. Typically, really good. 
Uh, in this particular order, I got a wrong razor. Um, I guess maybe the item number was mixed up and uh, I got the wrong razor in the package. It was the same cost as a, the, uh, the razor that I got is the same cost of the razor that I actually wanted. But I sent them an email to let them know uh, about the goof up and to see how we could rectify it because the razor I got I actually have already I purchased in the past and used it and didn't like it so uh, I'm not interested in keeping it so I sent them an email to see how we could uh, exchange it or how they wanted to go about that and uh, that was on Friday afternoon around noon or one and it's Saturday night, 8 o'clock, haven't heard back from them, which is a little disappointing. Like I said, I've done business with them in the past and always had a pretty positive experience. So we'll see. I'll give them until, you know, the end of Monday to see if they respond. And then I'll start sending more emails. But... Typically, they're pretty, or have been pretty easy to do business with, so I can't imagine this is going to be any different. Um, I'll keep you posted. Uh, but that's really about it. It's uh, this Russian 7 o'clock performing nicely. Cutting through the whiskers. The Colonel Conk Amber is working beautifully. Nice, slick uh, lather. Decent cushion and a nice scent. All right. Last pass. I'm actually going to go back to the puck and get just a little bit more soap. Put a little water in there. So yeah, um, let's see what else. I've got an order pending from PAA. Like I said, uh, when I ordered the head blade stuff, it was like a fat kid in a cookie shop. I just can't stop. I've been on a free since Christmas, and now I'm just making up for lost time. I'm getting all the stuff that I've been thinking about and putting on my wish list and all that stuff. So this may be the end of it for a while. I ordered a handful of soaps from, from a PAA. They should be coming in in a couple of days. which I'm super excited about. I finally uh, put in an order for the hand polo, which is the official soap for Shave at World Facebook group. So I am excited to check that one out. One, because it represents a good group of guys and uh, gals in the Facebook shaving community. And two, because PAA makes quality soap. And uh, it'll be cool to check it out. And, and it's, it's new shaving stuff. So who can't be excited about that? I mean, let's be honest. With all this new stuff that I order, I've ordered, my, uh, my shelf is starting to look pretty messy so I've got to take some time and fix that. Maybe I'll do a Facebook video like some of those posh guys who show off all their stuff. Um, a shaved in tour I think is what they call them. Problem is, is you wouldn't be or I don't have anything that I feel is super impressive because I like to buy budget friendly stuff to see how it works that way if anybody runs across any of these videos they can see 
that you can truly get a decent shave for a small amount of money. Um, I think the average of my razors, with the exclusion of some of my straight razors, are, uh, let's see, I think my most expensive DE razor is my Merker Future. I paid about $45 for that this past Christmas. Uh, my cheapest is 99 cents. Uh, my Chevette, I think my most expensive Chevette was about $35. This is the uh, Dovo Chevette. And my cheapest one I think is $10, which is becoming my favorite. The uh, stainless steel Equinox. And uh, I think the average cost of my uh, straight razors has been about $30. Uh, some gold dollars, stuff from eBay. And I do have a uh, boker that I paid about 90 bucks, 80 90 dollars for this past Christmas as well. Which I haven't even used yet, which is kind of funny. But anyway, guys and gals, that is the shave. Nice and smooth, quick three passes. Blade worked great. Uh, green Super Stainless from Russia, good stuff. Uh, Colonel Conk Amber, good soap. Colonel Conk uh, Classic Shave Scuttle. You know, I want to love it, but I, I don't think I can. Um, it's neat, it's cool looking. It's not very functional in my opinion. I got lather, I got a shave, but there was a lot of spilled water. Um, the puck, it was a pain in the butt because it just kind of fluttered around in the top. So, um, you know. I like it, I'll use it, like I said, you know, I'll use it probably to soak my brush. But uh, as an actual lather building device, it could be better for sure. That's what I got right now. I'm gonna wet my head and have a shave. And I uh, may or may not video that. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you have a good weekend. Hope you have a peaceful, restful Sunday. And a good week coming up. Hope you're having good shaves. Thank you and God bless, have a good week.